story time. I don't know what you think you're doing, sir. I also don't know what I think I'm doing. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 So, going from where we just were to this location is gonna be a little bit of an adjustment. You saw how far in the middle of nothing we were. Now we're staying in a college town. And this is our front yard, door. Relatively busy street and right past that light over there is the University of Miami, Ohio, which I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. And I got to see Frat House Row or like whatever they call it. I don't even know. Like all of these houses with like funny little signs on them. Never experienced college. I've never experienced like anything like that. Even my brother went to a really small college campus that was in the middle of a bunch of cornfields in Wisconsin. So like this is my first actual like college experience and I'm 25 years old with two kids. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> pretend that I showered and washed my hair within the past month. Lighting question mark. My entire life is a question mark. <laughs> <clears throat> so, story time. I had a severe reaction to poison ivy. I was very careful, so I thought, walking around the B&B that we stayed in Big Sandy. Funny thing happens when I ovulate, every single month like clockwork, I get these weird like rashes. I just kind of figured that it was one of those. So I've been using essential oils, I've been using lavender and peppermint mostly to help soothe those areas when I'm having flare ups when I ovulate. So I figured that it was the same thing, used the things that I normally use, and um, I think because I used an oil based product. That helped the oil from whatever poisonous plant I came in contact with to just kind of like spread and spread and spread ah. <laughs> to the point where every single part of my body that you wouldn't want to have poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, I had poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, and it was not a pleasant reaction. It lasted for a little over two weeks. Part of me believes that it was this one's fault because he just kind of like goes wherever he wants to and I think he ran through some stuff and I was unaware that he ran through that stuff and so I touched him and cuddled with him and pet him and loved on him and then I got that stuff. I looked it up and apparently that can happen. I'm pretty good at identifying plants and saw poison ivy and I was like, I'm gonna stay out of that area because I don't want poison ivy. I ended up getting it anyway. <laughs> so the last place that we stayed, I did not record a single video. Oh, just kidding. We recorded our Toddler Takeover Tuesday video and I was in so much pain. I literally took three or four baths a day and I was in there for 45 minutes to an hour and a half depending on the time of day super unpleasant. Here's what I did to try to combat that. So like I said, I took a lot of baths. I put oat, oats, oatmeal, oats, in a little satchel. So I took a bunch of oatmeal baths and then I started adding sage and the tea that you drink, the tea that helps you sleep, the tea that's super calming for your skin, the tea that starts with a C, cause it's not calendula. I want to say calendula. That would have been super helpful to have. Cause chamomile. Oh wow. I just kind of tried, you know, whatever herbs I thought might help. Intuitively choosing different herbs to put in my baths, and you know that helped while I was in the bath. But as soon as I got out of the bath, 
it was no longer helpful. So we started on the calamine lotion. Now the calamine lotion did wonders for about a day and then, you know, all the little bumps started to get pussy. Super, super, super attractive. And you know, they were really painful. So it got to the point where I was physically in so much pain. Sorry about my dogs. Stop! <laughs> like, no, 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 this, you know, Josh took the kids to go get some food and the, I thought this was gonna, okay. I was in so much physical pain that I literally could not function. I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't sleep. I had no appetite. I don't think I ate for like three or four days. It was really bad, guys. It was really, really bad. And so eventually I was like, you know what, screw this, go get me some hydrocortisone cream and Benadryl because I cannot live. For those of you who don't know, I don't do like that stuff unless I really, really need it. My body just doesn't do well on things like Benadryl. If I take half of one of the normal tablets of Benadryl, I'm out for like 12 hours straight. So I knew that going in and I really didn't want to be away from my kids any more than I already was. But at the time I was in so much pain that I couldn't be around them anyway. It hurt to nurse Hunter, it hurt for them to be on me, like, we're a very touchy, lovey family, and so my kids wanted to crawl all over me, and like, it physically hurt, and it hurt my heart to not be able to let them, so I was like, I gotta do what's best for me, and unfortunately what's best for me right now is to take this chemical concoction to make me pass out, and to make this inflammation go away so that my body can heal. It took two a day for three days. My gut health is also... I think you could tell from my face that I'm still not quite okay. Sleep is still really messed up and it's, it's, it's fine. Everything is fine. We'll update since those pictures are super graphic and pretty gross. Just to preface, we did go on a hike today, which every time I'm out in heat and humidity and every time I sweat, the rash kind of like has a resurgence. I still haven't shaved my armpits. I know how much the YouTube community loves that. This is, you know, what I'm dealing with. This is the worst that it's looked in probably four days. Um, so, you know, it just kind of, uh, it is what it is. I think my skin may be a little bit scarred. All the places that I used to have eczema as a child. It's just so funny how things, I know that my life looks like a vacation and most of my videos portray it being a vacation but this is kind of the reality of everything. My rash is getting better. I am not doing anything currently to like help it heal. I'm not taking any more Benadryl. I'm not doing that stuff. I am drinking some tea to help with like inflammation issues. Can we stop? All of the bumps are gone. They just have like the occasional like flare when I get hot or sweaty or we hike too long or like I haven't really figured it out yet. Why? 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 So yeah, there's that. There's not a bathtub here and also there is very minimal hot water in the shower. Anyway, that was my experience with poison ivy and I think someone is raking into my house. So I'm gonna go figure out what the heck that is and I'll see you guys later. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication